Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. This is the Motorola Droid 2, and as you know, this is one of the first devices to ship with Froyo. And along with Froyo, you actually get Adobe Flash. Now, I've spoken about it in the past that I'm not exactly uh, sure about how pertinent it is to have Flash on a mobile device, especially with the touchscreen. Um, but as you, but just to confirm, there you go, Android version 2.2. So. Um, I'm just going to show you a demo of it, just to fully grasp, you know, what you get. So let me zoom in a little bit. All right. So um, the first website we're going to check out, I've bookmarked a few for us to check out. First, we're going to try Monoface, um, which is basically an ad agency that created this interactive flash thing where you can modify the people's heads, you can modify their smiles, their noses, whatever. So you just tap, we'll zoom in here. So there's our guy so far. Let's tap on his head. That'll change him. And if we tap on the mouth, that'll change the mouth and you can see these changes. If we tap on the nose, the nose changes. Same thing with the eye, and again we can tap the head and it'll change the person. So, our first test of Flash. It works, and it works pretty well. Not really uh, too bad. Let's try games. We want to play games, don't we? So, we're going to go to addictinggames.com, and I've already checked out a few games. I'll show you which ones, that this one works, and works pretty well. It's called, uh, it's, one of, it's a shooting game. And I'm going to go ahead and play it in landscape. Just double tap. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. So we can click play. And then we'll skip that. And now we're here. We can play the game. And as you can see, I've already done... Let's lower the volume here. Leave it on just a little bit. I've already played a few of the game, a few of the levels. So we'll go to the furthest level. And as you can see, this is flash. And you can click and shoot and as you can see a lot of stuff was going on at the same time just before because that was a pretty good shot that I took and everything still works you know not too bad performance wise that wasn't a good shot that one really wasn't a good shot either but you can see that you know you can you can shoot you can play the game and it's really pretty enjoyable but not all games will work. So this one, for some reason, happens to be optimized, probably because when you're playing the game, you use the mouse to click, so clicking will work. But, well, I'll show you. Let's um, choose another game. One of my friends is really... Hold on, I just clicked something by accident. One of my friends is a big Max Dirt Bike fan. All right, so let's go ahead and go to Max... Max dirt bike. I know dirt bike is one word, but whatever. It'll still be able to find it. So we can look over here. There we go. Max dirt bike. We can click on it. And it'll load. The page will load just fine. And it should load. Right now we have a little ad that's running. And similarly, there are ads up here that will load eventually. And you can listen to the audio for that if you by tapping. So this ad will end in one second. And there we go, Max Dirt Bike has loaded and has aligned itself to be, you know, optimally framed. But, you, if you've ever played this game before, so we can go to start, we can click that, but how do we move from here? Clicking doesn't work. If we use the keyboard, maybe that'll work, you'd think. And it does. That was just terrible. But, as you can see, 
Um, for certain, if it didn't have a full keyboard, let's say you got this on the Droid X or something, you wouldn't be able to play a lot of the games. And I'm terrible at this game, especially with this weird angle. So you can sort of play... Um, let's go back. Um, you can sort of play almost all of the games. But keep in mind that if you don't have a keyboard, a lot of the games you won't be able to play because you won't be able to interact with them. So, finally... What's another thing that a lot of people like to do with Flash? Watch videos, right? So, let's try Hulu. So, we'll go to the top. Hulu.com. Whoops. Alright. Again, the, the keyboard, the touchscreen does a pretty good job. I'm just at a weird angle here to show you. And I'm over my home Wi-Fi network to test this out. This will work over 3G, but I just wanted to make it go a little bit faster. So as you can see, this front page loaded. These flash little thumbnails will load in one second if we give it a second to load. But let's watch, and you can see this flash animation just worked, and we can go to the next one if we want to. So let's uh, go ahead and load a video and see if that plays. Okay, so we didn't actually click on a video, we loaded a page. Um, but let's say we wanted to look, uh, I don't know, Hall of Fame Class of 2006. As you can see, the video will try to load. But it'll say, unfortunately, this video is not available on your platform. We apologize for any inconvenience. So honestly, even though when I read some of the reports about Flash and how they didn't really like it and they were a little bit disappointed, I've actually been pretty impressed by the Flash performance I've gotten on the Droid 2 so far. So, I'm Michael Sherlock from MichaelSherlock.com. What are your thoughts about Flash? Originally, I thought it would be kind of bloated and something that we don't really need on a mobile platform. But being able to play some addicting games right on this droid has been really impressive and really interesting. I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.